I think the the rules of media and the, I mean the ecosystem has been flipped totally upside down multiple times over the last decade. Uh, I think the biggest flip is sort of in progress right now, which is the flip that's happening and sort of the disruption that I think is coming to television. Mm -hmm. um, not that television is dead and, or, or, or dying overnight, but uh, I really do look at uh, the role that Facebook and Snapchat and, uh, and, and YouTube and, and to a lesser extent Instagram and Twitter and the role that they play in society today. Uh, they feel like the MVPDs, the, the sort of cable pipes from three decades ago, uh, and, and so today, Thrillist is a brand that is trying to be uh, building a new cable network. You're not an engineer. You don't have a tech background. Nope. So what is the hardest part of the tech landscape to master? I mean, there's a lot of terminology. I've been lucky to have had the first CTO, real CTO I ever hired, be someone that um, became sort of like a tech mentor to me. Mm. He speaks both tech and English. And, and I think what he taught me, and, and really beyond him, just technology makes anything possible. And so the answer should always be yes. And whatever we imagine to be possible because of technology can be. It doesn't necessarily mean you're always backing a team that actually has the, the skill to do it. And of course, your father casts a pretty big shadow. He's the co-founder of Huffington Post. Yep. Helped or hurt your business ambitions? No, my father's my best friend. He, <laughs> he helps my ambitions. He helps me a huge amount. He's taught me that everyone is a fraud. And by that I mean, whenever I feel insecure or, or, or concerned that I am losing control, he says, it's fine, so is everybody else. No one has any idea what the hell's going on. And I sort of believe that to be the case, not in a way that everyone's an idiot, but like, this is a crazy time. Technology is flipping the entire world upside down. If you work in media and you think you have a handle on it, you don't. you're don't. you screwed, you have no handle on it. When you threw out numbers for, for, for now this or for the dodo at a three billion video views or whatever, and why aren't you making gobs of money with three billion yeah. video views, you know? Well, so a lot of those video views are happening on Facebook um, and Snapchat and, and, and other platforms where Facebook is now testing, placing ads within videos in the newsfeed. For a company like ours, um, it is the first step in what we believe will be a bunch of steps that will lead to actually being properly compensated for being the most pop, you know, among the most popular publishers on the most important content distribution platform in the world. It, does it surprise you that newsletters are hot again, like what's happened with the Skim and um, all the other newsletter products that are coming from traditional media companies? You know, emails and other of those things. It was like, email's dead 10 years ago. It's like, email's not dead. Like, once you have a job, email will never be dead. It'll rule your um, life. Like, right. <laughs>